Welcome to Cooperstown in the National Baseball Hall of Fame and Museum. I'm Craig Muter, Director of Communications. With me is John O'Dell, our Curator of History and Research. And we are going new to the hall today with a couple historic bats that have just arrived in Cooperstown. From the 2010 MVPs, both of them, Joey Votto of the Reds and Josh Hamilton of the Rangers, who both had quite a performance here in the last couple weeks. It's just been an, an incredible power surge for, for both players. They've just been on top of their game. Uh, Joey Votto obviously is, is really picking things up now a little bit. Hamilton has been uh, strong since day one of, of this season. Uh, the first bat that I want to bring out is, uh, is Josh Hamilton's bat. This is the bat that he used to hit four home runs in a single game when the, uh, when the Rangers pasted the Baltimore Orioles. Uh, an amazing thing, only the 16th player in Major League Baseball history. You'd think that perfect games are rare, these are even rarer. And uh, some of the, the list of ball players who never hit four home runs includes people like Babe Ruth. So um, uh, Josh Hamilton, an incredible performance, and uh, he wasn't finished when he hit four home runs with this bat. That's one of the neat things. He, he recognized this was a special one, a powerful one, and he hit four more home runs with this bat uh, because when the Hall of Fame asked for it, he said, not yet, I'm not ready to give it up yet. Uh, finally, when it, when it broke on an RBI uh, single, just a little flare out to the, to the outfield, he, um, he said, it, she died a hero. She was getting a little tired and she died a hero. And then he was ready to send it to the Baseball Hall of Fame. So we're thrilled to be able to get this. And you can see why, why she died a hero. Look at the, at the marks on the bat. This, it gives you an idea how much force is being exerted by these guys at the plate when you look at what happens to the wood. That's right. You look at what happens to the wood, and if you look at these blue marks, you think, what are those blue marks? Those blue marks are the blue ink off of the baseball. When he hits the ball that hard, that's the smear of the baseball ink uh, that ordinarily says Major League Baseball, uh, Alan Selig, uh, commissioner. Uh, it's been obliterated into nothingness by this bat. Uh, that lets you know how hard they hit. And remember, label up, you hit the ball right there. Well, he didn't come to the plate to read, right? But still, very, very impressive uh, by Mr. Hamilton on May 8th uh, against the Orioles. Look over here at this Joey Votto bat now, a another bat that died a hero. That's right. Another bat that died a hero, and uh, this one a a an incredible story as well. The, um, this was the very first time, and just to let you know the kind of things that Elias uh, records for us, keeps track for us, uh, the first time in Major League Baseball history when a player hit two home runs during the game and then his third home run was a walk-off grand slam. And that's what Joey Votto did uh, in, in Cincinnati over the, uh, the Washington Nationals uh, to win that game 9-6. to six. Uh, uh, an incredible performance, and he wasn't done with it yet either. He held on to it until it too cracked right here in the handle, and then once that was done, he sent it on to the Hall of Fame. It's almost like little fingerprints on the bat where you can tell what was happening. You can see you know, he hit closer to the label on some, some out to the other end. It was probably a foul ball, but uh, but just the, the ability to center that up and get those shots right there, that's what led to those three home runs. Absolutely. When you look at this uh, this mark right here, that's one that just you can look at it and say, that looks like that was a home run, and, and it probably was. We don't know which one of these balls did what, but uh, these ball marks did what. But uh, uh, certainly a great thing to be able to, to see these bats, these, these instruments of baseball history. Uh, and they're right here at Baseball Hall of Fame. In a matter of hours, they're going to be in our Today's Game exhibit. Come out and see us here in Cooperstown, or check us out on the web at BaseballHall.org.